This is the maiden flight of the BYRC-C-33 cart. It's a cart that the frame hangs off of the two bogies. There's a spherical bearing in the front and a thrust bearing in the back. This cart isn't completely done. The frame needs the anti-rollback, anti-rollover mechanisms in the back. It's a very low frame and so I'm going to check to see how it does on this smog track which it was built for, 15 and a quarter inch gauge. You can see how low this frame is and how the uh, aft and forward bogies uh, pivot, especially the front one. You can see how it pivots in that spherical bearing. Right now it has about uh, forward, aft, and left. It has about 17 degrees of freedom due to the spherical bearing. Uh, the right side is only about 13 degrees and so I'm probably going to have to open that hole a little bit up a little up a little bit where the spherical bearing goes down in uh, I still have a little reinforcing do around big holes like that with some welded strips and stuff but basically this frame is complete it has closer wheel spacing than I've ever done before and I'm wondering how that works. Because the wheels are spaced closely, the uh, side wheels are also only uh, maybe five inches apart. And I'm interested to see how it, how it tracks, how it hunts on the track with a load on it. This is a, a cart that'll take probably 300 pounds with uh, one and a half factor of safety and 4.5 G. So it's a very strong cart. Once it gets uh, everything on it, it's gonna just about take anybody. My track can't take that much. I'd have to build a, a stronger track, but I'm just kind of experimenting with a uh, stronger cart. And you can see it's just tack welded right now. I gotta finish all the welding. But it's a pretty good looking cart. Very smooth. Looks like the bogey's having a little bit of a wobble. I may have to open that up just a bit. I kind of cut the width of the bogey's a little tight for this track. I wanted to tighten it down and I may have to open that up just a little bit.